Hello YouTube. This is going to be a quick video on my design for higher, or, um, my design instead of the VCube design for puzzles. So, let's get into it. This is the sketch here. Now, this sketch to the average puzzle designer or someone with a general knowledge of puzzles would immediately assume to be the middle layer. And that this is a sketch of the middle layer of a cube. And this is what you would sketch to make it in a SolidWorks program or something. This is not what you're looking at. You're actually looking at the top layer with a triangle, kind of like this, going down to the exact center, so like a pyramid, that is exactly one-sixth of the cube. So if you were to take this out, you'd have a sixth of the cube, and it would be this, equal, um, this uh, pyramid, which would basically go halfway down to the cube with its corner starting here. I know this is a little difficult to explain, but uh, that's the concept. So basically you're looking at that. So then the center, or a centerpiece should be right here. You're actually looking at edges. These are corners and these are wing edges. Now, the ge geometry of this design can easily be expanded into something bigger. As you can see here, there's the outline these lines here, ignore them, this is just for demonstrational purposes. You can see that this is basically the vague outline, or not even a vague, an exact outline of the 5x5. Five five. You can see here you have corner, 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 except now it's connected to another corner. This design obviously would, even this design, is starting to have to be unproportional, and it would be quite unproportional for a cube of its size compared to the V-cube. But the unique thing about this design as you see this piece is exactly the same. This is the outermost wing edge to the corner. It's exactly the same as this outermost edge to the wing edge to the corner. Except of course the circumference of the circle cuts through it would be uh, quite wider because it's a bigger puzzle. But the uniqueness about this puzzle design and these two designs is that the geometry of the puzzle is not based around the middle layer. The middle layer normally for, uh, say, the V-cubes, you would just manipulate the cuts on the middle layer. And they'd be the same every time. And that's exactly how uh, this works. And the corners would be generally looking the same, but nothing about the corners is always the same. It's kind of hard to explain. The geometry of this puzzle is actually on the split right here. So everything is always the exact same right here, and then everything else revolves around the edge. The edge going down to one-sixth of the QE in at diagonals like this. So really, you only need this triangle. going in at a 45 degree angle from this edge and that is your sketch to define the puzzle and you could keep expanding this sketch out going up using this design in which you have like basically for this center piece, uh, edge, middle edge piece, sorry you'd have it be like up one, out one, two up in one, up one, out one, two up, in one, out one, um, up one, out one, two up kind of deal. Keep going. So basically that is my design. And, you know, again with the V-cubes, I guess it sort of could also be defined as uh, going around an edge, but I think that it would... I think that normally it's kind of defined as what it looks like in the middle here. I guess there's nothing, there's nothing that really scales up, I guess, about the V-Cube or Xingqiao design that's exactly proportional every time. Like, yeah, the wing edges on this are similar, but they're not the exact same as the wing edges on this, basically, in terms of their, uh, I guess, silhouette, maybe, or something, what they would look like. Uh, on this one, it is. So, I'm not sure if this is 100% different from what the V-Cube design would be like. I mean, obviously it's not the same, but I mean, the way it's defined, I guess it would be slightly different. I don't know. 
it's hard to explain anyways, but uh, yeah, this is my design. You're kind of looking at the triangle, which would be right along here into the cube, 45 degree angle to the core. Thank you for watching.